Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Learn Linux TV. And also, welcome to my brand new updated TMUX series here on Learn Linux TV. In this series, I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know to get up and running with TMUX. I'm going to take you right from the beginning. I'm going to show you all of the core features, and I'll even show you how to configure TMUX and make it your own by the end of the series. Now, the thing is, I've already done a TMUX series on this channel, and if you've already watched it, then there's nothing new to learn here. Every now and then I decide to modernize or improve or update my tutorial series here on the channel to make sure that we have a consistent level of quality. And it's been quite a while since the most recent version of this series has come out and a lot has changed on the channel since then. And every video in this course is being uploaded all at the same time. So every episode is available right now. In fact, you could get every episode here on YouTube for the low, low price of absolutely free. So if you're a fan of free courses, then definitely click that like button and also subscribe to Learn Linux TV because there's a lot more where this came from. Anyway, what I'm going to do in this video is go over what Tmux is and the goal that it helps you solve, why you might want to consider using it in the first place, and then we'll go from there and start learning Tmux. In the next section, I'll show off some of its features. We'll also install it as we go through the video. It's going to be a lot of fun, so let's dive in. So what is Tmux and why should you care about it? Well, you're seeing Tmux in front of you right now. And at first it might not look like all that much, but with Tmux, your workflow can go from this to this. But what exactly is it? Well, Tmux is what's known as a terminal multiplexer. A multiplexer essentially allows you to have terminals inside of terminals. Of course, that's an overly simplified explanation, but it's good enough for this series. In order to use Tmux, all you have to do is type Tmux and then press enter. Once you do that, you're using Tmux. Now, at first it doesn't look all that different, but one thing that absolutely stands out is that green bar there at the bottom of the window. That's one way that you can know that you're using Tmux because there's a footer down there, and I'll be explaining everything in that footer later in the series, so don't worry so much about that, but what you're seeing is Tmux without any customization at all whatsoever. Once activated, Tmux itself becomes what you are primarily working with within your terminal session. You can still enter in all the same Linux commands that you normally would, there's no difference when it comes to that. But with Tmux, your session stays persistent, so even if your internet connection drops while connected to a remote server, for example, any tasks that you might have had running will stay running if you are running those tasks within Tmux. In addition, you'll also benefit from cool additional features like session management, tabs, splits, and so on. Now, I want to underscore the fact that Tmux will keep your session active in the background even if your SSH connection, for example, drops. Now, that's something that a lot of us Linux administrators are afraid of, a situation where we're doing something really important, maybe installing a package, and then our connection drops in the middle of the installation. That could cause file system damage, half-installed applications, things like that. Definitely something that we wouldn't want to experience. So by running everything within Tmux, then you are protected from that particular scenario. So let's take a look at activating Tmux in our shell session here to see how we can start using it. The first thing that we'll need to do is make sure that Tmux is installed. And one way that we could do that is type command dash V and then Tmux just like that. When I press enter, if I see output, then Tmux is installed. If I don't, well, then Tmux clearly needs to be installed and you'll have to use your distributions package manager to install the Tmux package. And that's fairly easy to do if you're running on Debian like I am or Ubuntu or any distribution that's based on Ubuntu or Debian, then all you should have to do is run sudo apt update. And then I'll run sudo apt install and then tmux just like that. It's a small program, so it doesn't take all that long to install, but now we have tmux on the system. And if you didn't already have output when you ran command dash V and then tmux, you should see something like user bin tmux, which will let you know that tmux is on the system. And if you're not running Debian like I am, or Ubuntu for that matter, then just modify the commands accordingly. For example, if you're running on Fedora or something that's based on Fedora, CentOS, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, or similar distributions, what you could do is run sudo dnf install and then tmux, just like that. For those of you that are running on Arch Linux, 
then your command will be sudo pacman dash capital S tmux just like that. If you're using a different distribution, you can modify the commands accordingly. All you have to do is make sure that you have the tmux package installed. To use tmux, like I mentioned earlier, we can simply type tmux and then press enter. We should see the footer bar there at the bottom, which is our indicator that we're currently using tmux. Next, what I'll have you do is run a command here in tmux. I don't care which command you run. You can run whatever command you want. You can run something simple like ls, for example. That's fair. If you have htop installed, I have it installed on my end, then you can run that if that's what you want to do. It doesn't matter what command you run, just run any Linux command here in the window. Now what I'm going to do is send the prefix key. This is something that we'll be going over in detail in this series, so it's okay if it doesn't make complete sense right now. Just follow along and it'll make sense soon. So to send the prefix key, by default, you'll hold control and press letter B. After you do that, you release both keys and then press D on your keyboard, which will detach you from your session. At this point, we are no longer using tmux. The footer bar is missing. We are back to our normal shell session. It even says right there, detached from session zero. So, well, we have detached from tmux. We're no longer using it. However, our tmux session didn't disappear. It didn't go away. And to prove that, I can run tmux and then list hyphen sessions, just like that. And it shows me that I have a session running right there. So even though I disconnected or detached from that session and everything that was running inside of it is still running in the background. Even if this was an SSH connection and I completely log out, the session will still be there running. As long as I don't close the session or reboot the server, then it'll stay persistent. If I want to reattach to the session, then what I could do is run tmux and then attach just like that and check it out. HTOP, in my case, is running just like nothing ever happened. And honestly, nothing did happen. When I detached from the session, then HTOP continued to run inside of the session even though I wasn't connected to it. Now, again, what we've done is we activated tmux, we ran a command inside of tmux, and then we detached from tmux. To do basically anything in tmux, you first send the prefix key. By default, that's control and B. You hold control and press B. Once you do that, you give tmux a command or some sort of instruction. By sending the prefix key, you're telling tmux that what you're about to do should be at the attention of tmux itself and not the underlying shell. So since I've sent the prefix key, I then only need to send whatever command I want and detach is just D on the keyboard. Now, when we ran tmux attach just like that, we told tmux that we don't want it to start a new session if we ran tmux by itself, it would create a new session, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to attach to an existing session, which is exactly what that command allows us to do. It'll reattach me to the most recent session that I was currently using as of the time I disconnected. When I press enter, that's exactly what happened. Since this session right here was the one that I was working with, it brought me right back to that particular session. But I think I'm going to close this particular episode right here. I just wanted to show you how to install tmux, how to open it, how to detach from it, and also how to reattach to your session. And we learned all of that in this video. Now in the next video, we'll get into splits, but before you go on to the next video, I just want you to practice sending the prefix key. Again, control B, you hold control and press B by default. That gets tmux's attention. And then, for example, you could press D to disconnect. I'll be giving you additional tmux commands throughout the series, but that's your first one for now. Just make sure you remember everything that I taught you so far, and then you should be good to go. Now, hopefully you're enjoying this series so far, but I need to stop the video right here. I don't want to overwhelm you guys. So just make sure that you understand everything that I've gone over so far. And when you're ready, you can move on to the next video, which like I mentioned at the beginning of this video is already uploaded. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next episode as soon as you're ready.